So in the last video we have seen how to develop a workload using a sample application. In that case our application was a collaboration services which provides different kinds of service like email service, calendar service, content service and so on. In, in this video we will learn what are the special consideration that you, you need to consider while designing a workload and also we will give couple of common mistakes that people do while designing a workload alright so to start with so, so what are the important considerations so let's say you are you are having a old application but, and then you enhance uh, the application with multiple new features okay so in that case what what kind of scenario or what kind of workload that you need to con you need to create so so couple of things that we need to create is that so first consider what is the new code path or we call it hot code path so your scenario so instead of testing the old features so consider testing the new features where, where you have the new code line because that is where probably you are going to get most of the issues and also if you can do some kind of regression analysis so that if you have data about the old performance numbers when the old application was running then you can compare the the performance data of the old with the new data okay so that means a some sort of workload that whatever you are running before you know basically rerun that same workload on the new with, with the new features okay so that is so so basically that is called regression analysis uh, in, in, in another case like for example you have a pre-production website that means that means you are not at production but however your development has already, already been done and in that case what you, you should consider consider to roll out okay so roll out to maybe 10 percentage of your users okay and let's call them as beta customer okay and and understand like you know and then once you roll them out then you analyze the web logs okay so analyze the web logs and analyzing the web logs will give you what kind of page views per period what kind of session duration or what is the interaction time from transitioning from one page to another page so all those information you can you can get by analyzing the web logs so that way you will get a a good feel of what the customers are going to do okay if this 10 percentage of your beta customers are using using your application in in one way then probably that is a representative of how you should design your workload all right so if this is a kind of scenario that is available for you then do that so let's say you are designing a complete uh, new application you are not privileged enough to have a pre-production rollout to only 10 percentage and then figure out the way they are using so in that case what you can do you can run some experimental pilot so run experimental pilots with your co-workers and understand how they are navigating so important thing here is that what is the navigation pattern okay so like so and, and that way right you know whenever whenever you design the workload you will basically understand and then this will be a representative of the real use okay and also understand what is the relative distribution of activities that means if you see in case of our uh, you know in, in our previous video we describe about that this is a mail and you know you know a person is doing a mail here and then another mail after say let's say after after set, say one hour he's doing another mail so so basically this kind of like you know if it's, it's a brand new application and you don't have any idea then basically run experimental pilot with some co-workers or some representative use and that is what the people that run some ux you know user design and all those things so 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 the user design test and so basically essentially what you need to do you need to run with experimental pilots with your co-workers or hire some people and then see like you know how they are using the application and that will give you a relative idea about distribution of activities and you know and page interaction time and so on and then and finally this one very important thing is that a lot of people do not really consider in performance testing about batch jobs remember like you know when your application is online from time to time there's there might be some administration work might be going on 
okay so whenever your workload you know whatever workload you are defining should include this kind of administration overhead or sometimes we do a lot of batch job in the night so basically that workload whatever workload you are designing will have two uh, two components the first component is the online activities which is happening in, in on, on a transactional basis and then another thing is a batch job which is going to happen one time but however when that batch job is happening then if you do not consider about them then your performance of the online users that time is going to suffer okay so so most of time a lot of time people don't really consider bad job thinking that this is not part of the performance test but do consider them whenever you are creating your workload